Okay, let's do this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can configure and use vehicles inside your RPGs. So let's get started. First off, you need to set up your vehicles. To do so, you need to go inside your database under System 1, and from there you have a couple options. First is the vehicle image. So there are three vehicles by default in RPG Maker MZ, the both, the ship, and the airship. Now, if you want to change the images, you can only double click on the icon and it will be brought to every single asset available to you inside the database. And from there, you can pick whatever you want to change it to. So if I wanted to change the both to that specific kind of oriental looking both, I could simply select this one and there we go. That's simple. Also, keep in mind that whenever your characters will get inside a vehicle, in your RPGs, the music will change. In order to set up that music, all you need to do is go at the top right corner of your database over here and just click on the music for the vehicle that you wish to change. So if you want to change the bow, just double click here and same goes for the ship and the airship. Pretty straightforward. Now the last configuration you need to do is setting up a starting position for your vehicles. Like the player the games needs to know where the vehicle can be found when you start the game. There's two ways to do this. You can do it also from the database from the bottom left corner over here and just specify a place inside a map or you can directly do it from the events inside your maps. Over here by right clicking any event, go inside the set starting position and from there you can apply a both the ship or the airship starting position. So if I click on the both, there we go. Now something to keep in mind is that the both or the ship can only move on water. That means that if the starting position of my boat over here was directly on land, once the players get inside that ship or both, then it won't be able to go anywhere. If I'm just starting a new game and I try to get in by interacting with spacebar on enter, I'm now inside the boat, but I cannot go anywhere because I'm standing on land. Now, the whole purpose of ship or boats inside RPG Maker as vehicles is specifically so that the players can travel on water. By default, inside the world maps, it's impossible for the players to walk on water and, to be fair, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. But, if you move inside the vehicles, that's when it becomes possible. Like, for instance, over here, my characters cannot go inside the water, but there is a boat available to us. And so, by interacting with the boat and getting inside, I'm now able to go inside the water. Now keep in mind that boats are not able to go inside deep waters like the one you see on the map by default. It's impossible for him. They can only go inside light waters and light rivers like the, the light blue that you see. So if I try to go inside the darkest blue, which is deep water, it's impossible for the boat to do it. The ship on the other end is entirely capable of doing so. There you go, and we can easily cross over. Now for the airship, it pretty much works the exact same way as both in the ship, except that it can fly over anything possible, and the starting position shall be on land and not on water. Now by interacting with the ship, as you can see over here, I can fly over the mountains, I can fly over the river and the deep sea water, it's not a problem. The only thing is, I cannot land on the mountains or the water, because that's not some place where the ship can properly land. You can only land on planes and also walkable paths, like the grass over here and the path over there that leads to the city. But it wouldn't be possible for it to land, let's say, here on the forest or in the mountains or the water whatsoever. One last thing to keep in mind is that should you wish to change the images or the position of a vehicle, it's entirely possible to do so through the events. All you need to do is go inside your events commons and in order to change the image, you can go inside the third tab under system settings and at the very bottom you have change vehicle image and so during play you can change the appearance of your both or ship or the airship. Also, you can set a new position if you want them to move elsewhere inside the game by going through the 7th tab and click on the set vehicle location. And once again, you can select the boat, the ship or the airship and assign a specific position or assign one with variables. 
All right, so that's it for today's video on vehicles. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever, and I'll see you later for a new video. Bye. Goodbye.